Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm going undercover on the internet. This is actually me. Oh, why you gotta bring this up? Cora. How, how much damage did Johnny Knoxville do to his body while performing stunts on Jackass? And did he age rapidly? Hello, Louise. I started Jackass for a brunette. Now I have silver hair. So I guess I age pretty rapidly. And I don't know if this is how much damage I did to my body on Jackass 4 or on all the movies. I'm just going to answer on Jackass 4, otherwise we'll be here all day. So on Jackass 4, I broke my wrist, broke my rib, and got a pretty gnarly concussion, which I had to stay in the hospital for the weekend. So, yeah. Which Jackass actor had the most injuries from the movie series? Everyone has gotten lots of injuries. On four, Steve-O busted his shoulder, and but I think my weekend in the hospital was probably the most severe injury. Uh, but there's, there's, you know, things happen. Twitter. Seriously, it's actually me. Ex sad girl Sosa. I know you were probably too amped on adrenaline in the moment, but do you remember being in pain after you shot yourself with the vest on? That's referring to when I tested a bulletproof vest while shooting myself with a 38. No, there wasn't pain, it was just fear. I was, cause I, I didn't have enough money to buy a good vest. I had, I bought the cheapest vest they had. The vest actually dispersed the impact quite nicely. It felt like someone had hit you in the chest with a shovel. Uh, so, but it did, there was no pain. It was just, just fear. Do stuntmen respect Johnny Knoxville? Just curious. The stuntmen on the set, like when I first started doing films and Jackass had came out, I remember on my first film, the stuntmen, hey, they said, hey, you want to sit with us during lunch? We usually don't let actors sit with us, but you can sit with us. You know, that was a real honor to be able to sit with the stunt guys because what they do is unbelievable. So yes, I, I, I have a great deal of respect for them and I think they're all right with what, what we do. Where and how did Jeff Tremaine and Johnny Knoxville find the Jackass crew? Well, most of us came out of Big Brother Magazine where Jeff was the editor and I was one of the contributors and Pontius was a writer and they covered Wee Man, they covered Steve-O. And then we kind of joined forces with Ryan Dunn and Bam Margera from the CKY videos. And that's how we, and, and Preston actually, he was, he was a wild card. He was on my couch at the time the show came about and uh, we got Aaron through Dave England. He's like, hey, can we are shooting the pilot. Hey, can I bring my buddy to shoot? Yeah, bring him. IMDB was able to make friends with two of his heroes, Johnny Cash and Hunter S. Thompson before their respective deaths, even buying a cabin and other possessions from Cash. I did get to meet uh, Hunter S. Thompson right before his passing. I'd met him before years earlier. He was amazing. Uh, pure character, carried a, a doctor's bag around. And it was filled with everything a doctor would have in a bag. He was very prepared. I never got to meet Johnny. At the Wilson Man 11. When are you gonna find a new crew for a new generation jackass? Well, I'm glad you asked because we have uh, a few new cast members in the new Jackass. We wanted to bring in some new blood, some fresh faces, and so we reached out to all our friends and we got Jasper Dolphin from the Loiter Squad and Jasper and Errol's first time. His dad, Dark Shark, who is hilarious. Um, we have Eric Manaka, who is in Action Point with me. Zach Holmes, who I was aware of from just seeing crazy things on the internet. I mean, he's a bigger fellow and just goes for it. He's really athletic. Rachel Wolfson, a stand-up comedian, uh, she's fantastic. And Poopies, boy, can't, can't you wait to meet Poopies. He's a total Spicoli surfer type and just will go for it uh, so, so hard. Him and Zach really, um, you gotta watch it because They'll do whatever you ask them. <laughs> so it's like, it's a, it's a lot of power to have. We have to respect that. More Cora. What is Johnny Knoxville's sperm count? My sperm count 
these days I think is very healthy. But I remember one time in Russia when we were partying really hard in around 2004, 2005, we were in some urology clinic slash sex museum and we took my sperm count then and it was rather meager. <laughs> they put it under a slide, you know, and they showed, they showed a healthy sperm under the slide, which it looked like, you know, just thousands of fish swimming through the sea. And then they put mine up there. All you saw were like four or five dead soldiers on a battlefield and for the longest time. And then finally, two, you saw two soldiers were about to have a heart attack and they crossed and, they, and when they crossed paths, everyone in the room stood up and applauded. That's how low my sperm count was then. But I've had two children since then and I think it's recovered. Why did Johnny Knoxville leave the Jackass TV series? It was an election year and Joseph Lieberman came down hard on our show we were doing. And unfortunately we had a few copycat incidences. You know, he was wanting to be tough on Hollywood and he was pointing us out directly, which the network kind of froze and they had to really come down on us for certain things because they were getting come down on and we couldn't do the show like we'd had been doing it. it. It turned into something else. And I loved the show too much to, to compromise it. We had like OSHA people assigned to the show saying you can't jump off anything higher than three feet. You know, the constraints that we couldn't do the show, so I quit. But then out of all that, we decided to do the first Jackass film, which opened us back up again. How much of the budget for the Jackass movies is insurance? <laughs> God, on the first movie, they didn't insure the whole movie. They insured per bit. One bit we wanted to do, they wanted $5 million to insure it. We wanted Pontius dressed up like a, in a devil costume going to one of those Pentecostal churches where they handle snakes. And to do that, they wanted $5 million. And we're like, well, can't do that idea because the whole movie, first movie, cost six million. We can't double the budget for one bit. Posted IMDB. Johnny Knoxville's eyeball popped out of its socket twice after he was injured while shooting the scene on the Alpine slide. It did pop out of its socket twice. <laughs> you know, I had a terrible concussion and I didn't know it at the time, but I'd also powdered this bone in my face. It just it didn't break, it just disappeared. And I remember getting back from the hospital that night and I had a little blood in my nose and I just kind of took my fingers and blew, right? And then my eyeball went And I called the producer, I'm like, I gotta go back to the hospital, my eye just popped out. And he's like, ah ha ha ha. I'm like, no, my eye just popped out. He's like, I'll be right there. <laughs> and then about a week later, I was out with Pontius and he said something funny. And for whatever reason, like I wasn't supposed to sneeze for six weeks, right? I wasn't allowed to sneeze for six weeks, which is like, if you got to, you got to. That was the information I had, but Pontius said something funny and I went, <clears throat> I held my nose and laughed and went. <clears throat> so I, I had double vision, pushed it back in, and good times. Prior to Jackass airing on MTV, the crew was given an opportunity from Saturday Night Live to perform their stunts on a weekly basis. They declined, but Knoxville would host the show in 2005. Right as we were getting ready to do the pilot for Jackass, Saturday Night Live did offer me like three to five minutes each week to do something, whether it's a prank or a stunt. And I met with Lauren Michaels uh, at the Beverly Hills Hotel and I was extremely grateful for the opportunity to sit across from that man and, you know, really consider the offer. I was working in a restaurant a year before, <laughs> you know, and now I'm sitting across from Lauren Michaels. But in the end, I decided that, God, Jackass was something that me and all my friends were doing and we had control of, and I just thought maybe I'll just bet on us. And I was very grateful for the offer but I, uh, I just bet on us. More Twitter. Okay, this is, has a picture of where I ruptured my ring finger. And did you regain all the movement in it? And how long did it take? Okay, this is, 
This is the one that's not injured, and let's see, it goes like that. And this is the one that was injured. It doesn't go as far, but it, it's pretty good. Uh, I was promoting Bad Grandpa to, at a fraternity, and I jumped up on the basketball net, right? I was trying to climb up the basketball net, and I snapped my tendon. So I didn't know it until later because, you know, lots of drinking at the fraternity. Next, Instagram. Picture of me in my Rice Olds jersey from 1985. Wait, does that mean you're actually good at baseball? I thought your talent was having no talent. I loved baseball. I played baseball until I was 18, like up until the week I was moving to Los Angeles. I played in a, uh, you know, I had a, a summer league team that I was playing on until I left. Uh, I was actually decent in baseball. Uh, it's the only thing that I could say that I was actually decent in. Uh, I, I love it. I was a pitcher in first base. YouTube. Yo, concussion. How many Johnny Knoxvilles have you had? I would say 15 or 16 now. Um, yep. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm good on concussions. <laughs> All right, kids, that's it. I'm signing off the internet. See you around.